I don't know when this launched, but you can now connect your Stripe account to your Google scheduling and take payment for someone to book with you. I have another video out that talks about how Google appointment scheduling can replace your Calendly. And with this feature I just found out about, it can do even more than that. So I'm gonna set up in this video what that looks like for a mini branding session day to set up the appointment scheduler for slots in a specific day for 20 minute slots every 30 minutes, what the payment setting up looks like like and the settings that you need to have on your Google scheduler. And then I'm going to use Zapier to automatically send a different email to them that would have a questionnaire form for them to fill out upon booking with you. Yeah, so let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is make sure our Stripe is connected to our Google Calendar. So we're gonna come into settings and go to appointment schedules. And down here, we have the option to connect Stripe. Go ahead and do that. Go through your steps to set it up. And then once you are connected, you will see here that your payment integration with Stripe is connected, which is perfect. So we are wanting to make sure we are creating appointment schedules instead of appointment slots. Appointment slots are for like internal use, so we want bigger appointment schedules. So now we can go create and we can create a schedule. All right, and we're gonna pretend we're doing a mini branding session with Sally J photo. Perfect. And these durations and some mini, I want to do a custom and I'm gonna say for 20 minutes, done. And if we do what does not repeat, we're gonna change this for just October 1st. And I'm gonna change those times. We'll say we're doing our sessions from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., perfect. Maximum time event that can be booked. We can have it be booked whenever. Time before the appointment start time, let's at least have it be 72 hours, like three days ahead of time. And we will have, I want to add a 10 minute in between the slots so they can be booked. I want it to be booked every 30 minutes. Perfect. Yep. So if we do a 10 minute slot, then they will be booked at the top of every 30 minutes throughout the day. And we're not going to limit how many bookings are in that day. So let's go next. You can add a booking form, it's gonna be first name, last name, email. We can add a phone number to it just in case. I would do that for a mini session. And you're able to add additional questions, but we we'll, won't do that. We're gonna add a secondary one as well, but you can have a description here. Let's see, Sally J Photo is proud to do mini sessions at Rose Farms on October. The first, they are 249, 415 images in 20 minutes. Okay, we are going to be in person. We're gonna say it's Rose Farms on one Main Street. Awesome, photo and name. So we're gonna get all those options set up. And then we're going to do payments and cancellation policy. So we will say yes, require payment when booking. I'm going to put it at 249. And a cancellation policy would be here. Fully refundable if canceled within seven days. If canceled after seven days whatever it is. You can do yours. Then we have some booking um, confirmations and reminders. So here we have a calendar invitation. 
which immediately will get sent to them so they can put it on their own calendar. And then we have an email reminder about it. So I think a day before is probably perfect for an event like this to be reminded before. You can always customize it and we could say two days before, but it coming up. So let's hit save. And now you can share this booking page. You can embed it in your actual website, add a pop-up here with a little, it'll look like this, with the pricing and everything for it. And we'd have to go to October 1st is when they all are. Or you can just grab an exact link to it as well here. However, you want to share that mini booking session link. So if we just plug in that link here, and again, it's only available on October 1st, but it'll ask for this information, phone number, we're gonna go check out and book. And it is a full like Stripe checkout page for them to put in everything here. And then it is not booked until they pay this fee. So once they pay it, it will be booked. And then to send a like automatic confirmation email, we're gonna go over to Zapier, which connects different parties together. And we're gonna come to Zaps and create a Zap. So we are going to do a Google Cal. When a new event matching a search. And this is our name of the appointment. Yeah, this is the name of the appointment here. Search term. Continue. I'm gonna test it. And then we are going to go to Gmail. and send an email. So our, here we have the information in that description. So I need to actually create a format option. Let's see. So text, continue. I want a email, extract an email address. And we're gonna do it out of the description. Continue. Let's test it. Now by having this third teal, yep, and then we get the person's email. By having that, you are gonna have to pay for Zapier, which works here. But you wanna go to the text formatter, we're gonna pull the output as that email, and then we are going to grab that confirmation email that we I created. Here. So I'm just gonna do that. And then I don't I didn't pull like their name because ultimately it just doesn't matter. Okay. And then it's gonna be from our account. From that name. And everything else is fine. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. <laughs> if you have signatures set up in your inbox, you can grab a signature here. And then we're gonna continue. I'm gonna go ahead and test that action. And I got it in my inbox. 
and this is what it looks like. So it has the name of the person, it went to me, and then it just sent like a normal email. So that would be a way to automate sending a event specific email to somebody using it this way. Again, you'd have to pay for Zapier in order to get that middle feature, but it does work. And then we just would publish it when done. Great. So here I have to upgrade to unlock those multi-step zaps. Otherwise I cannot publish it, unfortunately. So that is the only bummer here because I'm on a free plan right now with this test account. There are so many different ways you can use this paid scheduling. If you are doing like 60 minute calls, if you are doing blocks like this, if you're a coach and you want somebody to be able to book a session with you, there's just so many different ways to do it. And it's so easy to do. One thing I didn't talk about in the video is I definitely use Stripe's settings when I receive a payment to send a receipt through Stripe itself. So I'm not worried about sending a receipt for payment for my clients because Stripe is going to send that payment receipt, which is always good to tell people that you collected their money. <laughs> you do not have to do this step where you use Zapier to filter and send that information out. It's just a bonus if you need to in your business. I also did not highlight, I did in my last video on scheduling, that this appointment schedule inside of Google Workspace is not for the base level workspace. You have to be up a level at least like it's not the 696 level. You have to be like the $12 level. At least that's what it is in 2023. I have no idea when you're watching this. Just make sure if you don't see that option for appointment scheduling in your create button, it's probably because your plan doesn't have it, in which case you need to upgrade your plan or reach out to your administrator to see if you guys can upgrade that plan to make it happen. Because I don't know about you, I have found these appointment schedulers just in my Gmail to be super easy to use. I do want to, of course, I am a Dubzato certified specialist. So I just want to point out a couple things. If you are wanting to set up your bookings in this way and you're curious what a different system would do for you because you can do it inside of Google. Some things that I noticed is obviously you wouldn't need Zapier to send a specific confirmation email. Also, you would be able to do better, more customized reminder emails. I don't like the fact that within the appointment scheduling, your appointment reminders are not customizable at all. So if you wanted to remind somebody the day before, hey, don't forget to bring your outfits that we talked about or whatever it is, you wouldn't have the ability to customize that. And if you were to have this built out in your Dubsado, you could also, when you send that form to them to fill out, that would all be within Dubsado. And you could follow up with them if they haven't completed it yet. So if you send it over and things get busy, people forget, you can remind them like, hey, I still need this information from you before we get started. It's been a couple days. And you can automatically remind them to fill that out amazing. And you can also do like multiple payments. So let's say your booking session is an $800 booking and you only want to take $400 up front. You can end up to take a second payment automatically later. So I overall am definitely a Dubzato fan for when it comes to these multi-layered paid bookings. But if you're not quite ready to invest in that yet, or you just want something simple for a one-off shoot, or maybe you have a special event coming that you want to sell tickets to, that it just doesn't need all of the fuss that a full-blown CRM system would have like Dubsado, then the appointment scheduling within Google is perfect for you. I'd love to hear use cases about how you are using the Google scheduling. So leave a comment down below if this video was helpful for you. Give me a thumbs up. And if you need any help getting organized inside of your business, I've got a link below to schedule a free call with me to discuss how I might be able to support you inside the back end of your business. And I will see you guys next time.